Hey everyone, how's it going? Rich here. Hope you had a good Christmas and New Year. Dropping a jump punk update for everyone today. I'm just moving something because the sun is in my eyes. Right, so we have got some awesome stuff to show you today uh, with the next update that's coming. And um, Leaf 2.0 has been fully integrated, it's fully working, and um, we've done loads and loads of updates here. Um, one of the things that I wanted to go over today was all the Leaf stuff we're bringing in all the quality of life we're bringing in and I'm going to ask everyone to help support us on the Steam page and drop a review if you're having a good time because we need the support and um, we want to continue developing the game and making it awesome we need our community to help us along with that but without further ado let's hop in to the awesome stuff that we have to share today um, you can see here we've got equipment and we've got inventory um, we've been working on this for weeks and Today we're finally happy to share a very early version one. Um, icons aren't done, sound effects aren't done, but you know what, it's functional and I wanted to show it off because it's exciting, so let's just go for it. Um, new leaf, nice and detailed, it looks awesome. The animations are way slicker, um, it's just way better. You can now equip everything on the robot. I'm gonna get the uh, laser level one right which is the laser you have um, many of you were like it sucks that the laser comes out with hand so we over the last uh, couple of months been working on syncing all the animations so it all uh, syncs up correctly and this is actually um, taking a while but you know what now when you run the laser will follow uh, on his hand it will go up and down and wherever you go if you're looking at a different way you want a laser it will turn him around it's all synced it's all good um, and it's taken us a while to get this uh, really smooth and solid, but we're really happy with it. So yeah, what what this does lead us into is the fact that now we can we can do anything, and it's just another ton of possibilities. And this, I want to just bring this back to um, what we were saying about before we go into Monolith 3 um, this year. I want to make sure that all of the little bugs and all the little annoyances are gone, because there's no point in those coming forward with us. Uh, there's no point in those just annoying people. We put so much effort into a monolith and then they complain about UI, right? So we are doing a UI overhaul. It will look it will look way different when uh, when we get the playtesters in uh, to test this player update. But just certain things like people didn't like it. Uh, we, we did a lot of research about UI when we did this game and we knew we wanted to redo it because we didn't have the, um, we didn't have the, uh, what do you call it, time to do the UI as well as we did. It, it suffered because we were basically running out of cash and we needed to launch the game. So, um, I called it there, we had to launch, and I was like, we'll redo it. But there are, were some things that we researched from other games that were successful and other titles that people enjoyed, and we took some of those elements um, and we tried to make a decent UI with that. But for some reason, maybe it just didn't work here. Um, so, anyway, this what we've done now is a lot of people were saying didn't like the fact that um, Q open the build menu and stuff like that. So now it's all separate. Q is just inventory and player stuff. Tab is for your build. Um, we've also been, uh, I am digressing on the UI real quick, but I think it's important to go over it. We've also been uh, sorting out a ton of stuff in terms of uh, placing uh, items. So now uh, you will get a little readout at the bottom. If you need to build something, it will tell you exactly what you need on the bottom if you have enough of it or not so way clearer and it just should, should just make it a much nicer game to play uh, all of this should be super clear now if you don't have it what you need to place that in the world and to get started with um, the game as well we're going to be re, re overhaul at home a little bit re overhauling the tutorial I say re we are just overhauling the tutorial um, because we think the tutorial sucks and now that we've played it as well um, I also think tutorial sucks. We, we need to make sure that it's um, actually teaching you the relevant mechanics when you start the, the start the game. Again, this is something I just think suffered because we had to launch. Um, because, you know, when I think about it, I played it the other day and I was like, well, this sucks. It sucks, right? Because why are we teaching you how to make a little house when it's not really relevant? We should be teaching people how to make the craft bench first, how to get machines running first, and then they can just make a house later, right? That'd be much better, but you know, it's just one of these teething problems when you start up a massive project and you think, oh, it's, we understand, they understand, we teach most of it. We taught the wrong stuff, you know. We taught the wrong stuff. 
So it should be going different. It should be way different to facing um, the little house thing. We should just basically scrap that. It shouldn't even be there. You know, it should be crafting bench first uh, up here. You know, um, and then it should have everything else after. Um, we'll place the foundation, place the crafting bench, and it should teach you how to make your first production line. It shouldn't be like, oh, now make a house. Who, who cares, right? Um, so all of these cool improvements coming, um, it will make a big difference. All of these things are going to add up. But also, what I'm going to do now is switch over to the equipment stuff. And now with the equipment stuff, what have we got? We've got different lasers. I'll quickly show you these. Um, they're all the same color and. Uh, they need to be customized, but I wanted to get the video out today. I didn't want to delay it anymore. I wanted to give everyone an update what's going on. So we've got a normal laser, you know, normal destruction. Then we also have, um, we can swap that out and we can go laser level two and then bam, more powerful and it will mine way quicker. Um, and then I think we have laser level three which is just insanely powerful. We swap that out and it just makes things explode basically. So it's super, super quick and you'll be able to craft these and find them, you know. And it just it just blows the entire world up. So, you know, if you wanted to mine faster, there you go. Um, we also uh, uh, will have backpacks, they're not implemented yet but they will um, increase inventory size. I'm increasing the inventory size anyway for Monolith 3 because, uh, well, for the player update, sorry, and continuing the game because after playing it loads and seeing feedback and seeing people constantly fill up the inventory, what we should have done is have the inventory way bigger, more, probably like double the size, you know? So your base inventory is gonna be almost double the size, I think, I'll play test it, but I think that's what I'm gonna do. And then after that, you'll get various uh, storage upgrades that you can upgrade even more so you can carry more around with you. And then, um, the other two awesome things that we have to show today are uh, the, da, 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 where are they? Oh, the legs don't have a picture yet. So yeah, power legs, uh, they are here, and it makes you run way faster and jump higher, further. So yeah, this is, oh, this um, it's too steep now, falling down. We got it here shortly. No, there we go. Uh, yeah, so way faster. I want them to uh, jump higher, maybe double jump, who knows? But you know what? These are cool, so you can run super fast. I will increase the default water speed on these as well. So you'll be able to run faster, laser, uh, more, way more powerful. If we just go uh, da, 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 all three, why not? Get the laser. And then uh, right now as well, we have got integrated the. So we've got. Uh, let's swap it out, level three. Oh yeah, so my storage is totally full, and this is the thing, especially with level 3 laser, you know, you can almost just channel your way through like a trench, done. Um, and then, save the best till last, jetpack is also in, and look at this now man, look how cool this is. You can just equip and um, unequip items, um, and now you can fly too, so all of this is very V1 and uh, we will be increasing the animations, I should also saving. We'll be increasing the animation quality over the next couple of weeks and uh, just making sure that everything's tight. Um, but it's, it's looking really cool, I'm really happy with it. We can do a bit of lasering in the air, you can fly, uh, you can maneuver pretty well, you know, and this is gonna be so cool. And you know what, we've just, the reason why it's taken a little while longer than we expected is just because we're having to integrate multiplayer, but you can easily just, you know, laser stuff now as you fly. So some really cool upgrades coming to the player. Uh, again, all, all V1 um, SFX, part of the effects, you know, we've took them off the drain. But uh, I do as well want to be able to basically just tilt him forward Superman style and fly forward. Um, that's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, so you should be able to traverse the landscape that way. Um, that will also obviously be with new inventory, new everything, it's going to be awesome. Um, and I really want to start putting some like um, enemies in here as well, maybe we can uh, get some fighting on the go, because that would be really cool, especially if you can equip weapons to fight uh, different NPCs, that would be wicked. Um, now obviously this all comes with a bit of a balance because we're, it is going to use battery power, so there is upgradable batteries as well, 
um, and it would be cool just to have a hover mode as well so people can um, use hover mode to just kind of float in the air and do what they've got to do but it gives us the ability now to hide things in different places now you know and um, it just gives us so much more more opportunity as a game um, but yeah to balance this out obviously your battery will drain faster but there's also a um, chest where you can put an upgraded battery Tony Stark style you know and uh, that will allow you to go further which is really good actually because the battery mechanic wasn't really um, it wasn't really doing much but now it will have a big purpose you can go make batteries or take different take uh, purpose built batteries with you and then you know they may run out of juice and you can swap them out and then you can fly again so it does, it's not going to always force you back to a recharge point because you're going to have more on you that you can uh, do stuff with so that is some of the update um, and yeah uh, where, where are we at 11 minutes um, that's kind of it for now but uh, it's a lot and I'm super hyped actually because after this we're going to get monolith 3 on the go and it's going to be good stuff um, hey man let's see if we can change the atmosphere and fly around I think that'll do the job uh, what is it oh oh no I'm hitting keys Oh, because I have my headphones on my keyboard. What is it? Oh no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Let's not play music on a, on a YouTube video. Um, also, I'm not going to try and figure it out. I think we've changed the key for that. Also, I'm going to quickly show you guys um, the paintwork that the new Leaf models will have. Um, this is really cool. Um, so yeah, the old ones, now they're more metallic, they're more metallic because uh, we've redone all the paint jobs and you know we've made it way, it looks way nicer. So there'll be a slight change to that, um, but now they look good. And then obviously we have, da -da 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 -da. we have all our other bits that, look how fast I'm right now, it's great. Um, we have all of our other bits here too. Uh, that we'll be adding on over, over the course of the next uh, few weeks and that's like, all the battery packs and the extra the extra storage that you can use um, and all of these parts over here so it does mean I'm gonna have to go over everything because now you can get to loads of different places now you can uh, you know explore all of my all of my uh, sloppy sloppy construction work up here but I did actually have a look up here the other day and although um, Although I mapped it out before Jetpack, um, you can actually uh, not really exploit the game too much. But I'm sure some people will find excellent ways to manipulate the system um, and find some goodies uh, that I haven't, I haven't thought about. So um, well, that looks good. Probably should uh, do a lightning build before I do the next video. Um, so yeah, that's it really. Um, is there any more? There probably is more. Um, what else? What else? What else? I think I've already rounded it off there. I'm really happy with this. Uh, I can't wait to get this player stuff out. It's going to be so cool. Um, and then again, lots of UI changes and quality of life coming. Yeah, all of this kind of stuff uh, needs to be better. Um, I'm well aware of that. And we're going to be swapping all of this out and making sure that before we go for Monolith 3, because each Monolith is a, is a huge amount of work. They really, it really is weeks upon weeks upon weeks of content pushes loads of design iterations, voiceover, all this kind of stuff. Before we go for that, um, I want to make sure that no one's complaining about stupid stuff we should have finished, um, and stupid stuff that should only take us a day to fix, and then we plowed another eight weeks worth of development into a massive update that, and then people go, oh, I don't like this one tiny thing that it should be fixed, right? So um, when, when all of that's gone, and I get community feedback saying, hey, this is much better and I'm super happy with how the game is now, then um, we're going to go for Monolith 3. Um, I think that's that's what we'll do. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'll just say a big thank you to everyone for your continued support. Um, and just that, please leave us a review on the Steam page if you're having a good time. Um, because you know what? I just want to say as well, there is like over 3,000 players or something with over 100 hours in game, something like that. 
So it's, it's some crazy number of people that have played loads and loads of time for JP. And there's a further like 10,000 of you that have played over 50 hours. So we really need the support. Um, the reviews on the Steam page directly help our game show up. And it's really important um, that we get that help from the community whilst we're developing the game. So I personally, personally would really appreciate it if you are having a good time on the game. If you want to support us and you want to um, help us grow, then drop in a review on the Steam page. Um, it really helps us out, especially during these big times where we're doing the big updates and things are a bit quiet and we're working on these, um, you know, we're working on this uh, player update and it's gonna take a little while just to keep um, keep that momentum going. It'd be really helpful and I'd really appreciate it. So I'll probably leave it there, but I think that's about it. Any other, by the way, any, anyone who's got anything they want to add to the game or they think would be a really good idea, Drop it in the feedback and suggestions. Um, if you've got a bug, please don't leave a negative review for a bug on the Steam page. Come into Discord, leave it on the forums, and we'll fix it for this this update. Um, leaving it on the Steam page just makes me really sad. So um, I'd really appreciate if you just drop it in the forums, drop it in Discord, um, and we can fix it. And also send us a save file. Because uh, that's part of the early access journey, guys. It's part of being on the journey with us while we make the game. We want to know what you don't like, um, and we want to improve on that. Uh, but just please not on the review page, I'd really appreciate that. Um, just come and tell us, speak to us personally, and you can speak to me personally if you want to make a change to the game, and I'll hear you out, or any any other dev uh, members on the team will um, hear you out and bring the feedback to me, and we'll have a meeting about it. So, you know, you have the opportunity here to literally directly talk to the development team and get changes you, may, uh, you want in the game, or, you know what, if you come up with a really cool idea for what we can add to the player, uh, we'll make it. So... Yeah, that about rounds it off, um, and we'll be here very soon. I think give us two more weeks, and I'll be able to put a date on exactly uh, when this is going to roll out because I want to just get all of this super slick. It's so much fun, just flying around and spinning around and messing around. It's going to be great. And I can't wait to get that uh, the Superman flight going. It's going to be awesome. Um, but yeah, other than that. We've got a lot of quality of life coming to just UI and how the game runs in general, how we teach players what's going on, making sure stuff isn't annoying, and then we're going to go for Monolith 3. So thank you everyone for your continued support, and I will see you soon.